In this Getting Started lesson, let's see how easy it is to drop indicators onto charts. The first thing you have to do is open a technical indicators dialog from here, from here, or if a chart is open from here. We have three libraries of indicators uh, that are available to you. You can get, if you don't have them all, get them from extensions. But let's start with a simple moving average, SMA. Drag that onto the chart. You can change the properties, colors, line, style, and things. But notice uh, that we're applying this to the closing series, and you could select a different series if you like. So that was easy enough. Let's say you want to create a double smoothed moving average. Well, let's you could drop that same indicator onto that one, or let's go ahead and create a you could grab an exponential moving average, drop that right on top of the indicator that we just created. You'll see the line changes to dots. And notice here that we're applying this now to the SMA indicator that we just previously created. Okay, we can change the period. Let's call this uh, a 21 period. And there we have it. You can interact with dropped indicators by hovering over them, right clicking and selecting change indicator properties. And you can do the same thing by hovering and double clicking the indicator. To delete an indicator, hover over it, right click, and select the lead indicator. You can also clear all dropped indicators by selecting this icon. Let's make this a little more interesting with an RSI indicator. Drag that to the chart, apply it to the close series, we'll change the period to 5, and shade the overbought and oversold areas. Notice how it plotted the RSI in its own pane. That's automatic. We can also smooth that RSI using a simple moving average, for example. Let's give it a, a nice bright color like red and change the period to eight, for example. And we're applying this to the five period RSI. Once you've set up the indicators that you like to see, save them as a strategy in order to recall them in multiple chart windows. I'll save this one in my scratch folder call it my indicators. Okay. And let's open that up a few more times. Click that three times. Two, three. And let's tile this. Let's assign a few different symbols here. And to recall this setup quickly, you can save it as a workspace, which we can cover in another lesson. The last thing to mention here is that as long as you don't press this button, which generates the code for strategies, you can continue to interact with the indicators as before. Thanks for coming.